Hello and welcome as we start our build up for the Sudirman Cup and of course uh, you've got to talk to someone on whom India's hopes will rest. He's done fascinatingly well over the last year, year and a half, whether it is the All England, whether it is uh, the Thomas Cup, whether it is the World Championships, winning a gold medal at the CWG. So a lot has happened in the career of Laksha Sen and, and, and now every time Laksha plays, all of us wanting to win, which is, again, not simple in sport. In sport, you will lose far many more times than you will win. As Abhinav keeps telling you, it also teaches you that it's okay to lose. So it was good to see that Laksha decided to take a bit of a break, recharge his batteries, and all of us expect he will be back full strength the way we know for the Sudhir Cup. Let's sort of get to his mind and ask how he is feeling, what the preparations are like. Laksha, it was good to see you posted that Instagram message saying, you know, you, you wanted to recharge. It's important uh, for an athlete's mental health and, and that break was important. How was the break? How did you now have sort of come back prepared for the Sudirman Cup? Give me an insight because at a young age, we expect a lot from you. Uh, yeah, I think after, uh, after the European circuit uh, i took a break and uh, yeah it is sometimes it is important to take a break and it really helped me uh, get back uh, after that break like when i was starting my training again it felt like i'm coming back from a summer vacation and and uh, yeah i felt really motivated uh, to even work hard again and uh, and yeah i think the last few tournaments didn't go uh, well in terms of the performance, but yeah, uh, the training which we had done uh, in last five, six months, I think will definitely help me uh, now going forward. And after taking the break, I feel uh, ready to uh, give my all out in the Sudhir Man Cup and the tournaments coming ahead. Olympic qualification is also around the corner and it's a huge year coming up, up you know, then Olympic qualification, Asian Games. Talk to me a little bit about preparation. Talk to me about how you are preparing, how you are looking forward to the next uh, few few competitions. Uh, yes, uh, next week we are playing uh, in Dubai, the Asian Championship, uh, which is there. It's a pretty big event. Post that, the Olympics, uh, then probably there will be a lot of tournaments which I will be participating to get that Olympic qualification ranking. and. Uh, yeah, I think before thinking of Olympics, you first have to uh, see how you're going to qualify for that. Like, Because uh, there is a lot of players in men's singles, especially, uh, and the qualification uh, tournaments are really important to have uh, good tournaments under the belt uh, in the few months of the Olympic qualification. So then you can uh, plan the rest of the training uh, and things like that but yeah i think as soon as the tournament olympic qualification will start it will be uh, really important for me to uh, keep myself fit and uh, play a lot of tournaments and do well so you know even when when you did not sort of progress too far in some of the competitions this year and i have watched all your matches uh, you've come very close you've sort of you know it's been 1-1 one, one, and at, even in the decider, it has often been very close and then maybe a string of points. So it's not as if you've played badly. It may be just a little bit of, you know, lapse of concentration, some points not going your way. In fact, in a couple of matches, if I remember from memory, it was also the net court that went against you and a couple of points got lost as a result. So it's not as if Laksha Sen at any point in time was not in the contest. Do you guys think about it that, you know, I'm playing well, it's just that I needed to recalibrate maybe a little bit? And secondly, how is it that when you play a team competition, whether it is the mixed, uh, you know, in, in, in Doha in February, last year the Thomas Cup, this year their expectations will be more from the Sudirman Cup. So when you're playing for India, talk to me about that. First thing which you said uh, was when you were 19, when you were 18 in the decider and then uh, I was losing out due to few uh, errors in the end or some uh, lack of con like uh like of lack of focus at the end and could have done some few things here and there but yeah i think all those are a good learning experience for me and 
I've got uh, really good matches, and even when I sit back and analyze those matches, that gives me a lot of uh, confidence that okay, it's not. Uh, I have to start from zero. I'm there. It's just a matter of uh, shifting one two gears ahead, and then uh, you have the win next time. So for me, right now, uh, I have to. change uh, in training few things here and there but i think the overall uh, uh, program which i'm doing right now is really been helping me and uh, yeah i think uh, i continue to believe in the system that i have around me and uh, yeah just change few things here and there and then things will be things will uh, turn out differently in the future and i'm really motivated uh, to do well and Yeah, I think uh, after the Thomas Cup last year, uh, we sort of, uh, as an Indian team, we have a uh, a lot of positives from that tournament to take. Like not in terms of playing because yeah, we keep playing tournaments and then sometimes the form is good, sometimes the form. But like how we conduct ourselves off court and how we gel well as a team. So I think in that way, I think I would say. Uh, our team is uh, really really uh, good and uh, even the uh, tournament which we played in uh, february uh, in dubai the asian championship we got a medal again so uh, i think that uh, the environment around uh, the team it shows uh, how strong our team uh, bond is and off court and on court so yeah i think it is always special to play a team event but Yeah, I think since uh, we did well in Thomas Cup last year, so we want to uh, sort of keep that uh, momentum going and uh, keep the team spirit high in everyone uh, who is new in the team. And a lot of uh, players were part of the Thomas Cup as well, so we try to uh, simulate that uh, off-court uh, environment uh, in the future tournaments. Well. Thank you very very much for speaking to me. All the best to you. and we will be with you in good and bad thank you very much for speaking to me yeah thank you so much for having me and it was lovely talking to you thank you thanks